after many years of doing a lot of our own training internally within Beechworth Bakery on site, our staff have put hours behind coffee machines, learning the craft of making coffee and becoming baristas. At the end of all of that, we've decided after all these years to run a barista competition down in Melbourne at Grinders headquarters. And Beck, you had a lot to do with it. So tell us a bit more about it and what it means for Beechworth Bakery. So the barista comp was run really just to push our own skills and test our skills and use it as an opportunity to grow and develop and push our team and seeing what they could do and how everyone else to try and get up to their standard as well. Um, so on the day, the guys had to present three coffees to the judges. Uh, there was two espressos, two lattes and two specialty coffees. We put this video together to explain a lot more of it and we hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Beechworth Bakery's first barista competition or grand final. This is their grand final uh, big day for, for Beechworth and Grinders today. I, also, I suppose everyone's travelled a fair distance today. Thank you for travelling all the way down, so appreciate your time and your efforts to come down. So... <laughs> Three courses today. First course will be an espresso, and each competitor will be dishing out two espressos, two lattes, and a barista's choice. Let's begin. Well, I'm representing Hillsville Beechworth Bakery and all the guys back there have been really supportive and encouraging, wishing me luck and they reckon I can win it. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> I think my strongest category was the lattes. My love latte art worked really well, so I was pretty happy with it. I feel like my flat whites could have been better, but they turned out okay. I was, yeah, I was happy with those when I handed them. <laughs> I'm Chris, I'm from the Ballarat Beach Earth Bakery, and uh, I got a really lot of help from uh, Elise and especially Anthony, the grinders dude, who uh, hooked me up with some good coffee and, you know, helped me troubleshoot any issues that I had. And uh, yeah, a lot of support through the whole thing. And uh, I'd just like to say at the start, thanks for uh, allowing us to like test our skills in such like, a professional environment. Hopefully, my uh, V60s came out the best, but uh, obviously I only tasted them just before I made them. But because uh, you can't really tell by how they look, you know, taste is everything. So hopefully, the judges liked it. I'm like a massive coffee hipster, so I've decided to do the V60 because, you know, get to Melbourne with mates, have that sort of brewed coffee and got like real into it, you know. I shook about as much as I thought I would, but uh, no, I didn't do too bad. I think I've been learning coffees for, I 
think the end of last year is when I started, so it's a couple of months. I didn't actually do any prep for this at all, and then I regretted it as soon as I saw Chris in there, and he had all these little devices. I just kept shaking, and my latte is um, very bumpy, <laughs> the, the patterns. All the coffees I made, uh, the cappuccinos definitely, they were definitely the best. I'm Dylan, I'm from the Chuka branch of the Beachworth Bakeries. Um, I was doing a bit of prep last week, I had a half an hour, an hour on it, and um, I've gotten pretty sick for the contest, so haven't really had much time to do much practice since then. Um, I wish I had worked more on those shot times and stuff, because they're pretty uh, dreadful. Um, definitely to work on the expressos. like it, the lamington latte to at least taste coconutty, but getting that flavour to sit out with coffee, unless it's colder, is very hard to do. Slightly chocolate. I'm from the Aubrey Bakery. Today I planned my specialty drink. Um, I made a few for the people at work to see, you know, what it would taste like and how it would go. Two caramel lattes, two caramel lattes, two caramel lattes with cream on top, with cinnamon and caramel drizzled on. I'm Alana, I'm from the Bendigo Bakery. Um, my prep was just um, not really thinking about it because I didn't want to overthink it. Two espressos. Thank you. Still six minutes to get. Yep. I'm actually really excited for the Nutella mocha. The judges got the first taste and it worked out, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Firstly, a big thank you to the contestants and a big warm applause. So, but in third place, our third place is Alana. Well done. <laughs> and in second place, Jamie Lee from Hillsdale. <laughs> and the winner, the 2016 Beechworth Bakery Barista Competition. Grand final is Chris from Ballarat. Caramel latte.
say was pretty delicious. Yeah. Yep. But it was great to see the, the enthusiasm that you guys bring to the competition. It's really up there. The, the idea is that all drinks are scored on a number of different categories from their appearance to how they taste. So there's a variety of ways that the espresso was prepared and that's 70% of your quality straight away. So if that part can be, be done right and done consistently across staff, it'll, quality will go up. So things like scales and recipes and using the same targets, that, that's the low hanging fruit. So some did, some didn't. Uh, the ones that did